In exercise number four, you'll be guided through the definition process of both an eye rest and eye finish operation in eye machining 2D. Perform step one by loading the inventor cam part used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise4.prz. If not already opened, Autodesk Inventor and Inventor Cam will launch automatically and load the cam part. Note that a milling cam part has already been created for this exercise. The CNC machine controller, coordinate system, stock model, and target model are defined. The machine and work material definitions for the eye machining data have also been selected during the cam part definition process. If you double click the tool header to display the part tool table dialog box, you will also see that two tools are defined. There is a 9.5 mm end mill with 24 mm cutting length and four flutes, as well as a smaller 6 mm end mill with 24 mm cutting length and four flutes. Both tools have a 45 degree helical angle and are used to perform the eye rough, eye rest, and eye finish operations in this exercise. Later, a third tool will be defined to perform drilling of the holes through the bosses. Click OK to close the Part Tool Table dialog box. In addition, note there are two eye machining 2D operations defined to perform the rough and finish machining of the outside shape. The 9.5 mm diameter end mill is used for both operations. Two chains are defined, with the first being the stock boundary, and the second being the outside contour of the target model. The stock chain is marked as open, enabling the tool to approach from outside. iRough has a 0.24 mm offset on the walls, and the eye finish operation performs the finishing of the outside shape. When using eye machining 2D, it is possible to perform an eye finish operation directly after an eye rough, like in the case of this first group of operations. In some cases, however, you may have to machine features of a part where the roughing tool will not physically fit prior to finishing. As a result, eye rest is used to remove any remaining material before using eye finish. At this stage, step one is complete and the cam part is loaded.